for example when we talk about women there has been a debate uh, for some time about raising the marriageable age for women from 18 to 21 so that becomes a very important and a current and a hot topic that has relevance for the examination the mains examination theek hai so that is why ye is a indicative topic jo upsc ne diye iske andar ye bahut sare aaye so just look into the basics of what it is all about so upsc syllabus points towards a number of things uh, that relates to indian society beginning from the salient features of indian society like patriarchy the joint family system caste system which is a very fundamental feature of indian society and such other features that are very inherent and intrinsic part of indian society are what we will be studying in this particular topic then comes the diversity of india so there are a number of uh, religions cultures and uh, races that coexist with each other in indian society and that forms a very important subject matter when it comes to indian society in upsc because that society is a very unique component of indian culture and uh, diversity is a very important and the unique culture uh, of indian society so that is why it becomes important that we read about diversity of india in a very systematic way and not only about the diversity of india but various threats to that diversity and how to overcome the diversity uh, the threat those threats to diversity when reading about indian society or when writing answers for indian society uh, and in fact for any other topic for that matter it is important that we have a very futuristic approach so for example if we are writing about the threats to diversity in india we also need to write solutions for the same and give a very future oriented outlook a very positive outlook that is expected of a bureaucrat that we will become one day when we crack this particular examination then comes the effects of globalization on the indian society as we all know in post 1991 era india has been exposed to a lot of things from the outside world and hence indian society is no exception to that particular phenomenon and that is why globalization forms a very important subject matter of indian society with respect to upsc the effects of globalization in indian society what are the dynamics that have come into play after we were globalized and got exposed to the outside world all those will be studied in this particular part then comes national integration the various measures for national integration in our course of the classes we will come to know that indian society being a very diverse society the it is it becomes very difficult at times to keep the different sections united and that is why there have been a number of measures in order to integrate the different sections of the society and that is what will form the subject matter of the topic of national integration then communalism regionalism these are some issues that plague the indian society and they cause they are a cause of concern because they are a threat to the unity and diversity of our country so this is what we will be studying about as well then secularism now secularism in indian society is a very unique uh, concept because although the, the concept of secularism has come from the western society we in india have molded and what we can say modified it to our own local conditions our own local practices in order to ensure that we can uh, celebrate diversity while at the same time ensuring that religion is not playing a very great part in our public sphere okay so that is what we will be reading about in secularism then comes the role of women and women's organization so there are various women's organization from the pre independence era itself that have played the role of uplifting women of our society uh, of uh, giving access playing the role of giving access to women uh, with respect to employment with respect to education and so on so that is what we will be reading in this part then comes social empowerment poverty and the developmental issues so we all know that poverty unemployment such other issues with respect to development of the indian society and the economy have been an important component now these issues of poverty development employment and unemployment also come in economy part but here we will be reading about these uh, concepts with respect to indian society that is what is the impact on society what are the dynamics in our society that get affected when we talk about poverty and unemployment so there will be a lot of old, overlapping things also and unique things also when it comes to the society part of the upsc syllabus then various welfare schemes now this part is very important because this is one of the most dynamic parts when it comes to indian society welfare schemes for the vulnerable sections of the population by the center and the states so in order to alleviate the problems of uh, illiteracy among women for example Uh, poverty 
among the tribals, for example, malnutrition, hunger, and so on. The governments at the center and the state come up with a lot of schemes and programs and initiatives in order to play a part in alleviating these issues. These all will form the subject matter of this part, wherein we will read about the welfare schemes for the vulnerable section of the population and the performance of these schemes. Not only will we read about the features of these schemes, but also how these schemes have played a role or have uh, brought about an outcome in terms of elevating poverty and solving the problem of hunger, malnutrition in our society and so on. Then comes the various mechanisms, laws, institutions and bodies that have been constituted for the protection and betterment of these vulnerable sections. For example, there is this National Commission for Scheduled Caste and uh, Scheduled Tribe that we also read about in the Polity Vada part. So, an overlap here also, but from a different angle. We will read about how these have performed and how they have actually at the practical and real realistic level played a part in uplifting the various vulnerable sections of our society. Then comes issues relating to development and management of the social sector or services relating to health, education and human resources. So, health, health sector becomes a very crucial part when it comes to the society because it is uh, when we talk about demographic dividend, for example, that can be uh, capitalized or uh, the benefits out of the demographic dividend can be reaped only if we are performing good on indicators of health, indicators of education and so on. So that is why it becomes very important that in order, in order to make a quality life for people living in Indian society, we talk about health, education and such other dynamics and hence it, part, it forms a part of the subject matter of Indian society. Then issues relating to poverty and hunger definitely forms an important part. And finally, inclusive growth and issues arising out from it. Now, this is the syllabus given by the UPSC at Verbitum. Like, uh, as it is, we have discussed right now. But within these particular pointers and topics, there are a lot of things that come. For example, when we talk about role of women and women's organization, we have to read about uh, women's movement since the pre-independence time, then the problem of, for example, violence against women, the problem of sexual harassment of women, the problem of dowry in our society. So, within these topics, there will come a lot of subtopics, including various current debates and current issues that, that are on them. For example, when we talk about women, there has been a debate uh, for some time about raising the marriageable age for women from 18 to 21. So that becomes a very important and a current and a hot topic that has relevance for the examination, the means examination. Okay? So that is why it's an indicative topic such as UPSC has given. It's a lot of Some of the topics I have chosen in order to discuss as to what are the subsets or the subtopics that probable subtopics within each topic. So 